Well, I wanted to take a few minutes to show uh, how you can run Logos Bible app on a Chromebook. I've been having issues with uh, the screencast dropping some audio frames, so if it does that, I apologize in advance. So to get started, you need to have a Chromebook that supports Android apps, and I'm using an Acer R11, which does that. And as you can see, I already have Logos installed. So I click on it. Uh, it opens up. I had it opened up a little, little while ago, but it does open up fairly quick. And it opens up to the home screen. So if you're familiar with the uh, Android Bible app, uh, this will look pretty much the same. You know, you have, the, uh, you have your readings, you've got your verse of the day, faith life today, and then you have uh, stuff from the blogs uh, and some of their uh, sales that are going on. Uh, that's really all I have is in my, my home uh, page. Uh, I click on the menu and I can go to my library and I have all of my resources there. I can also download uh, the resources as well. And I don't know if I have any of these downloaded at this point, but you can download them if you want to uh, store them on your Chromebook. You know, if you're offline, that's helpful. Uh, the reading, it's it's the same, same as the app. Uh, you know, you can uh, change the the layout a little bit. Uh, again, I'm I'm not going to go through all this because if you're familiar with the Bible app, you're uh, familiar with this, and uh, you know you have a passage guide. You have all the the tools uh, running on a Chromebook and uh, actually running pretty well. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while to pull stuff off the internet, but uh, as you can see, it's already got my my stuff up there. So if you have a Chromebook that uses the apps, uh, you have access to your Logos library and work. Oh, and uh, you know again. It's, you know, just just like your phone or on your tablet, you can, uh, you know, highlight, uh, you know, do the same thing. So it is a really nice uh, addition to a Chromebook.